This is a special presentation from News Channel Nebraska. The NSAA Boys State Basketball Championships on News Channel Nebraska are presented by Currency, Allo, Liberty First Credit Union, Woodhouse Auto, and by Midwest Bank. One segment now. Pinnacle Bank Arena, the site of semi-final Friday on News Channel Nebraska, and it's time for Class A as we have two more semi-finals to go. Our first one is Omaha Central taking on Bellevue West. Brandon Axum and Andy Klassen and with you for this matchup presented by Nebraska Public Power District. Always there when you need them. And Andy, you look at these two teams. Yeah, yeah. Bell West, they've had some pretty good success lately. Yeah, pretty good. They're trying to make it to the state championship for the fifth year in a row. They were preseason favorites. Yeah. Pretty much ran the table beside one loss to an out-of-state nationally ranked team. Right. Omaha Central, They've had to battle for their respect. In fact, coming into this, Bruce Chubbuck Jr. said, yeah, yeah. we felt we maybe got disrespected from the media in the preseason polls, and they've had to earn everything so far this season. Well, what they've earned right now, they're sitting in the semifinals, one win away from the state championship. You're exactly right. They're knocking on the door. And don't you just love Coach Chubbuck and how he brings that mentality to the locker room and to his team? You know, last year was kind of resetting the culture there at Central. Now they got it spinning like a top. And both Sr., he's on the staff as well. So you got both. Bruce Chubbuck Jr. and Sr. doing big things for the Eagles once again. Of course, Omaha Central, it knows about success at the state tournament, just not quite as recently as Bellevue West. But We'll talk about that later. Let's talk about some key players currently. First off, for Bellevue West, you probably know the name Jaden Jackson going to South Dakota State. Probably the best guard in the state, and he does just about everything for the Thunderbirds. He really does. Uh, a phenomenal score, scores on all three levels, great length, plays to his strengths, a facilitator. Yeah, he does it all. He's going to be playing D1 next year. Everything's already been said about Double J. He can do it all. Dalaron Thomas, that's who's going to be an interesting matchup. He's for the Omaha Central Eagles. He's averaging 17 and four a game, an extremely talented guard in his own right. Yeah, averaging 17 points per game, but what I really like about his game is his defense. That's what his coaching staff likes to talk, to, talk about him as well. His tough-mindedness, his defensive uh, nature, and how he always draws the toughest defensive assignment of the team. Well, we referenced the coaching staff a little bit. Michael Shively, the third member of our broadcast team, has more on these two coaches as they prepare for this semifinal matchup. It was a special moment on Wednesday. That's when these Class A teams played in their state quarterfinal matchups. And for these two head coaches, it was their first victories at the state tournament in the head coaching position. Talking to Steve Klein, the head man of Bellevue West, he said it wasn't pretty. His team, uh, they were feeling the pressure a bit. Been number one almost all, if not the entire season. He said he was feeling the pressure as well, following up in the footsteps of legendary coach Doug Woodard. He coached at the state tournament as an assistant plenty of times, but it's a little different when you're the guy in charge. And he told his team afterwards, I hope my nervousness wasn't rubbing off on you. But they did make enough plays down the stretch to Bellevue West. They took down Creighton Prep 41 to 35 in a close game. Talking to Bruce Chubbick Jr., the head coach for Omaha Central, he was mostly pleased with how his team played against their rival Omaha North in that victory. Said they fouled too much. Defense wasn't quite as good as he wanted. He would have liked to held them in the 50s, but they did get the win 72 to 62. And by getting the win, he says he got to experience from the head coaching position his favorite basketball memories. And that is, as a high school basketball player, winning a game at the state tournament. It wasn't about him yesterday, or rather on Wednesday. He says it was about his team. And seeing them get to experience that moment, something he did as a player at West Holt High School out of Atkinson, he said that was special and had extra gravity with him in the head coaching position. But they're not messing around. They don't want it to be just that one victory as a head coach at State. Both sides motivated to get this semifinals victory and earn a spot in tomorrow's state championship game. We have your school spotlight and starting lineups next. You're watching High School Hoops on News Channel Nebraska. To sum up the past 20 years in one word, exceptional. It's one of our core values. But our people, 
have been truly exceptional. Our customer support has been exceptional. In 20 years, where will Allo be? When we started, we were just a business fiber company. Then the demand came from residential. Now the products of both business and residential just continue to expand. We've got to start with customers' needs and always work backwards. The customers will tell us and our teammates will take us there. The pregame show is sponsored by Custom Sports. Look great for every game with custom team or business apparel from Custom Sports. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Welcome back to Pinnacle Bank Arena. It's time to take a look at our school spotlight brought to you by Currency, which makes financing quick, easy, and secure for machinery, ag equipment, and more. Visit GoCurrency.com. Bellevue West, perennial power, specifically yeah. as of late. 22nd appearance, you see the state titles. Yep. That is six if you do the math. Two in the last four years. As people who follow Class A well know, it's been Bell West, Miller North, each of the past four. <laughs> it could be again round yep. five this year, but not if Omaha Central has something to say about it. And Central, as mentioned, coming up on 50 appearances at mm -hmm. the state tournament. You look at those championships, you had a four-peat in there as well. Yeah, that not the most impressive that. resume there is. Yeah, they didn't feel that too long ago either when they went on that four-peat, that run. They just owned Class A basketball for a number of years. Uh, and now it just kind of feels like it's Miller North and Bellevue West's churn, but uh, Central trying to get back into the mix here. That four peak coming between 2010 and 2013, the last trip to the state tournament, or state championship rather for Central, not that long ago, 2019, when they played Omaha South, when Bruce Chubbick was the coach of that team. Senior Bruce Chubbick for South in that one. Here's a look at the bracket. We'll look at it again when we return as we pause for the National Anthem. Hi, this is Misty. Here at Family Physical Therapy, we strive to go beyond your symptoms, ensuring you have access to quality, individualized care. We offer physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Family Physical Therapy has an excellent staff that cares about our patient's success. Whether you're suffering from a sports injury, a stroke, or working to improve balance and coordination, Family Physical Therapy is here to help. When you're here, you're family. Visit us at one of our many Nebraska locations today. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. I love our Nebraska public schools. As a mom of high school students, I see the value public schools bring to our communities every day. It's where families come together to cheer for our team, engage with our teachers, and build long-lasting, trusted relationships in our communities. It's where our kids get the skills and opportunities they need to succeed. I don't know if it's that way in other states, but here in Nebraska, public schools are the heart of our communities. Hey there, sports fans. Looking for a winning play to make your game day complete? Look no further than Speedy Mart, your family-owned neighborhood convenience store. Score big with the wide range of snacks, drinks, and fuel for the road that will keep the whole crew cheering. And here's the kicker. Our friendly atmosphere and convenient location make every visit a slam dunk. So rally the family and head to Speedy Mart for the ultimate game day experience. Here's the bracket presented by Currency. These are the two games that you'll be yeah. seeing tonight on News Channel Nebraska. Class A semi number one, Bell West Central about to take place. Miller Northwest side, the final game of the night. And as mentioned, the stage is set for round five between <laughs> Bell West and Miller North. 
New players, new coaches. Same results or similar results up to right. this point, but Central and Westside are hoping that they can change history. That kind of speaking of Bellevue West and Miller North, it felt like the sky was falling in on new head coach Steve Klein from Bellevue West. Lost one of the first three games of the season, snapping a 32-game winning streak dating back to the previous season. Uh, but he's made up for it in a pretty good way, going 22-0 after that early season loss to Miller North. That loss, 74-85, all the way back on December 7th. They've been perfect since. Let's take a look at our starters, brought to you by Unity Eye Centers, your provider choice in Norfolk, Columbus, Grand Island, Pierce, and St. Paul. It's Sterling, Thomas, who we talked about, Wayne, Holman, and Prince. Holman is averaging 13. Thomas is putting up 17 a contest. Sterling just shy of double digits with nine points a game. Yeah, that's something you really got to point to for these Eagles. They got multiple scores that can get it done. You're looking at the great team length, uh, present a whole bunch of matchup problems for anybody that they square off against. And now for Bellevue West, the defending champs brought back a lot of pieces from last year's state championship team. That includes Jackson, Turner, and Garcia, all players that were on last year's state title team. You also add Pulichik and Cassio Jensen to that lineup. Jackson leading the way, averaging 18. Garcia putting up 14. Pulichik, 12 a contest. Yeah, well-rounded bunch for Bellevue West. Do a phenomenal job running the court. They've always played 94 feet. That was kind of a, a holdover from the good old Doug Woodard days, and that's something you can really credit head coach Steve Klein with is, hey, I'm just not going to change much. This is a <laughs> thing that's been working very well for a couple decades now. Might put my little spin or a touch on it, but I just want to keep the train on the tracks. Glad that you're with us. News Channel Nebraska, semi-final Friday here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Central and Bellevue West squaring off in a Class A heavyweight bout in the semi-final round. And how did they get here specifically? If you want to know exactly the route, Bill West on Wednesday took down prep 41-35. The Junior Jays gave the Thunderbirds trouble, actually led for a majority of that game before Bill West did take over to win by six. Omaha Central, they overcame Omaha North 72-62 on Wednesday. And that was a heated up game. A couple of crosstown rivals. You get a good look at Bruce Chuddock Jr. And Former Husker, great. Boy, those are a lot of fun. <laughs> those are fun teams to watch when he was part of them. In prep for this game, talked to him for well over 40 minutes, 20 of those reminiscing about the Huskers. He yeah. really just wanted, and it was great to relive and talk about all of his oh. moments as well. And now he's trying to translate what he learns, or learned rather and knows, to these players at Omaha Central, and he has them in the semis. You know, that's a fantastic point. He's always so gracious with his time, loves talking ball, kind of reminds of an old ball coach, right? <laughs> hey, you want to talk basketball? I got you. <laughs> well, turnover for Bell West here early on. There's a look at our crew. Tonight's crew, Brent McNerlin, Jake Wolf, and Brian Arvin will be our three-man crew. I hope they brought their running shoes, because you have two teams that really like to push the tempo. Three on the way and it drops. Central strikes first. Devin Holman with the triple. Yeah, his length there in the corner doesn't ma matter if a defender is closing out or not. He can elevate and get over top. Anybody trying to alter his shot. And on the other end, there's a bucket for Jacob Ajang. 3-2 here early on in the first quarter. It's brought to you by John Henry's. Our family serving yours. John Henry's our first quarter sponsor. Ajang just gobbles up so much space <laughs> down there on the block. Good find. Good find, though, from Steven Polichick.
Turnover. Bill West ball. Central in transition oh. and making it look easy. Holman with a couple of quick baskets. Saw the spacing on point there. Prince widened out, drew that defender. And the head fake three and the cleanup by Turner. Turner with the hang time. Spent about a half a century up there <laughs> collecting the rebound and the putback. And you have a foul. The basket won't count for Sterling. It's an illegal screen at the top of the key. They're gonna get Wayne, the 6'5 junior. But he's saying, that's all right. You keep trying to set those screens up. That's like a, a holding football. Your quarterback already looks at the lineman and says, that's okay, that's okay. I didn't want to get blown up there. Almost three minutes in, driving to the rack. Oh. There's two for Polacek. Polacek doing a nice job facilitating and getting his own early. An athletic play there Ooh. from Jackson. It'll be Bill yeah. West ball. Yeah, you said it, Jackson, young man. We highlighted in the pregame. You're seeing him doing just a little bit of everything, as we mentioned, making plays on defense. Great look brought to you by Five Points Bank, our instant replay sponsor. Five Points Banking is Nebraska's better bank. Little three quarters court press being shown by got Central here. The one, two, two, got the trap. Bill West got out of it. We have the skip pass across. Corner three, <laughs> nothing but net for Prince. Prince has been lethal with his passing earlier. Shows you he can knock down a corner three as well. That one nearly fell for Garcia. We're at the halfway point of the opening quarter, 8-6 Central. And two shots coming up. Just unfair, isn't it? You get Holman, the six foot six senior. You know, well, you can't have that good of handles, right? Wrong. Leads you to the center of the court. Spin moves back around. So Holman with six points here early on. Great start for him. Coach Klein. First year with the program, obviously, Coach Woodard, who everyone associated with Bill West for multiple decades, decided to retire after last year's state title. 12 years as an assistant, though, under Woodard, so that's right. not a bad yep. resume to, to take over a program. And in year one, you know, 25 and one, I think you'd take that. A rope inside, <laughs> and the big man showing his fleet-footedness. <laughs> Nifty footwork for the big man. And that'll be over and back yep. on Central. So that's not going to show up in the stat sheet. There's our guy, Jaden Jackson, making an impact defensively once again. They're getting pressure on the ball. Jackson double team. Oh, good hands. And Sterling almost pickpocketed him. 
Sterling showing you his quickness there. Six foot one senior. And ball lost by Cassio Jensen. Here comes the Eagles. Jensen just kind of lost the handle. Thomas to the rack, mm. draws the foul. The rope was looking for the charge. Yeah, I think he was still kind of leaning to his left to right, trying to get in position. You had two defenders out on the three-point line kind of collide into one another. That allowed for Thomas to accelerate and have that free lane. Yeah, really put a rope in a bad spot. The official saying, yeah, if they didn't bound it over here, Coach Klein wanting to know what's going on with that. <laughs> And you're seeing some, some press here from the Eagles. Again, Bell West breaks it. And that's gonna be a foul on Prince. And yeah, wastes no time attacking the rim on the other end. McMorris. Yeah, when you don't have a defender up and out on some of these guards, these capable guards for Bellevue West, and you give them that full head of steam. Well, they know what to do with the ball. So you have Isaiah McMorris at the line. He's a pretty decent athlete. Going to, to play football somewhere not far from here. <laughs> That'd be Nebraska. Well, that... That is here, right? That is here. <laughs> By here, I mean, I mean Pinnacle Bank. You have to walk a little bit from okay. Pinnacle Bank to Memorial Stadium. Gotcha. Thank you for helping me clarify, though. That, was, <laughs> that wasn't quite what it needed to be. He knocks them both down. And he also showed you that speed, a big reason why Coach Rule wanted him on that football roster. 10 all, two and a half to play, opening quarter of the Class A semifinal between Omaha Central and Bell West. Brandon Aximit, Andy Klassen, Michael Shively with you. Bell West forces the bad shot, brought across the timeline by Cassio Jensen. But Garcia unable to handle the pass, now Central's running. Yep. It was, go back to the Thunderbirds. That was too late, that was too late. Good. Right idea. The window had closed, though. Bellevue West, so good at getting back on defense. It was a good look at that baseball pass. Cassio Jensen, like a defensive back in football. And there's Thomas with the interception. <laughs> yeah, just right on cue. Serving him right back. Offensive board grabbed a second offensive rebound for the Eagles. Prince is battling for it. Have a foul called against the Thunderbirds. Yeah, if you weren't gonna get the whistle for a foul, well then Prince would have had a travel here. As he goes down on the ground, kind of rotates over. That's good enough for a travel, but saw a lot of contact there. Looks like a foul called away from the ball. Maybe on the ball. Foul called against Bill West. Which is their fourth. Yeah, Bellevue West just does not want to allow the Eagles of Omaha Central to establish the paint. 
Thunderbirds with numbers here. Central doing a great job recovering in transition. Yeah, Thunderbirds got to learn. If it's not there, just back it out. Don't force the issue. Turnaround jumper off the back of the iron from Sterling. One minute left in this first quarter. There it is again. Why try to pass through two guys, Brandon? It never worked for me. <laughs> well, that's where you mix in the bounce, right? You're a big you advocate go. of the bounce pass. The bounce pass, yes. but still trying to sneak it through two, three defenders there between the guy you're trying to find. Odds go significantly down. Yeah. I See that there there's is. a pass, there's an open pass and a three. Uh-oh. And you just yep, got the technical. Really don't need to be doing that. McMorris hits the three and unfortunately for him gets teed up. And I don't think Coach Chubbick cared for that either. Yep. So yeah, you get all that momentum. Positive mojo flowing your way. And you give it right back by giving up a T. Talking some trash to the opposing bench. <laughs> and there's Thomas telling the Bellevue West crowd to uh, shush up. Can you tell these guys like each other? Yeah, a little bit of a rivalry feel to it. And Central coming off a, quite the rivalry win over North. You mentioned it there when we were looking at the brackets. Well, we're under a minute to go. Strong take by Sterling. Set that up beautifully. Saw just enough of a crease down the center of the lane. Another off pass, but Jackson got a hand on it to help the Thunderbirds get it back. Looks yeah. like they'll opt for one here. Both these teams are just so good with their recovery defense. You think you have something in transition, gets erased. In a heartbeat, the way these two teams get back. We have Thomas on Jackson. And he stepped on the line. Paul Polacek you know, Chef see, stepped on the line. We see that about once a game, don't we, down here at the state tournament? Getting a little too wide. And you know, it is a white line that <laughs> kind of blends into the natural color of the wood. Chance for the Eagles to get a last second shot. It's up. And count it off the glass. <laughs> Thomas gives Central a three-point lead heading to the second. It's the bank, right? We're in the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Just like you draw it up, Central leads the defending champs by three as we head to the second quarter here on News Channel Nebraska. NCN Sports is brought to you by Allo. You deserve the fiber things in life. Allo Fiber. And by Unity Eye Centers, your provider of choice in Norfolk, Columbus, Grand Island, Pierce, and St. Paul. Life is a wild ride. It's important to have a trusted partner along the way. Liberty First Credit Union exists to provide its members with affordable financial services. Whether it is a large purchase, a new car or home remodel, overcoming obstacles, or chasing your dreams financing life is what we do best give us a call or visit libertyfirstcu.com when you combine their heights it adds up to more than 13 feet when you combine their basketball wisdom it equals multiple state championships and another trip to the semifinals. That's the father-son coaching duo of Bruce Chubbick Sr. and Bruce Chubbick Jr. Jr. coached under Sr. for about 20 years. Says he learned everything he knows about the game from his dad. Adopted his coaching philosophy when he became a head coach a couple of years ago. 
now senior is coaching under junior and junior calls it the honor of a lifetime but it wasn't easy to convince him to come out of retirement he thanks his mom for letting him first of all and says the thing that sealed the deal senior asked hey can i be in charge of the offense he's been a defense first guy's whole career and wanted to mix it up it was an easy yes for junior and now they have the team in the state semifinals guys Thank you, Michael. A couple of threes exchanged, one for Turner for West, one for Sterling for Central, but I actually accidentally called Senior because I had his number in my ah. phone when trying to get a hold of Junior. <laughs> Once he realized that I, what was going on, I apologized and would call Junior, but not before Bruce Senior said, yeah, I'm coaching with my son, but I swear this is my last year. I said I had assist for two, <laughs> and so this, apparently is the final year he'll be assisting ah. for Central, according to him. Some of those guys just can't hang it up, right? We saw Doug Woodard in the crowd. Tim Cannon just took a job over in Council Bluffs. The ball coach for Millard North went on that run. He was at the helm, longtime coach at Omaha Bryan. Good to see those guys still around the gym. 1916. Central leads two minutes into the second quarter. Kind of a flurry of threes really from both teams. Stolen away by Jackson and blocking foul yeah. is called. I think you're okay with that foul if you're a Central fan. Would have been showtime on the other end had Thomas not picked up that foul. Oh, we have a Jersey night theme. Well, that's the central side. We'll say their pet band played a little Lady Gaga during the pregame poker face. That got the crowd going. Can never go wrong with Lady Gaga. <laughs> What's the one about Nebraska? You and I, that's about oh, Nebraska. Yes. Let's get that one going. Worked inside. Garcia is fouled. Yeah, just great size, Jackson. That, there's that quick bounce pass we were talking about. Finding the big fella on his way. So Garcia, he's averaging 14 and six. Actually held scoreless up to this point as he knocks that one down. Shooter's roll, rattles it home, catches the front of the rim. Nice move. Jackson, though, did enough to alter Holman's shot. Great pass, easy <laughs> oh. basket for Polacek. I think they heard you over there on the Bellevue West sideline, talking about that bounce pass. Good for a couple assists as of late. Prince is fouled on the floor. He'll be on Polacek. Yeah, Prince has that advantage. Not only is he, you know, obviously has the height, the length, you already seen him knock down that corner three, so you have to respect that three-point shot. You try to close out, he can put the ball on the deck. So Ackerman and just checked in for Central. Misses the initial shot. Loose ball. Thomas fade away. Oh. Count him. Oh, that's a next level type of shot right there. Coming up with the loose ball. Polacek tries to go for the up and under. Gets the foul. You know, you're just seeing some of that attitude. As at the top of your screen there, you see the two Chubbucks, Chubbuck Sr. and Jr. talking to one another. Uh, just workman-like 
philosophy rub off on their team. You had two offensive rebounds, then they scoop up a loose ball at half court. Then on the third shot opportunity with a little flare, Thomas gets a little, what would you say, mid-range jumper to go. Kind of a fadeaway look to it. Thomas has seven leading central in scoring. And there you have a turnover by the Eagles. Eldon Turner taking away that easy handoff pass. Just putting some on ball pressure, full court. A rope has checked back in, runs into a double team. That was. Kevon Newsom with the defense. Yeah, Newsom's one of the guys that got an offensive board last time down is Prince. Or excuse me, was that Sterling with the finish? Seven now for Sterling. Mm. Two point lead for Central as we near the halfway point of the second quarter. Back into a rope, he gets it. Be sure to stay tuned for our halftime highlights brought to you by Sarter Heyman at Jewelers. At Sarter Heyman and Jewelers, they'll ha help make your jewelry dreams come true. Check them out in Lincoln or Grand Island. Step back three, Ooh. just short. Ackerman, the board and the bucket. Ackerman doing the dirty work, the junior from Central. The central ball, a reminder that high school sports on News Channel Nebraska is presented by Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. Find out more at libertyfirstcu.com. Also presented by Woodhouse Auto, convenience delivered every time, and a currency as well. If you need financing for RVs, ATVs, or other expensive items, currency is here to help. Visit gocurrency.com for details. We have a foul called. They're going to get Mick Morris trying to extend his tight man-to-man -man defense out beyond the three-point line. But it's hard to keep up with these <laughs> Central Eagle guards. They're quick right there. A rope coming over and helping. It always helps, you know, six foot five, six foot six, a rope coming over. Well, Mick Morris kicks it out. A rope battling for the rebound. Central ball. Get a look at it here. <laughs> Not me. It's close, we'll give him that. Tipped away. <laughs> Almost took out Eric. Into the second row. Got to keep your head on a swivel. There's a look at Bruce Chubbick. Junior, as mentioned, his second year with the program. No nonsense kind of guy. No. Yeah, I'll hear your story, and we all have a story, right? But can you... Set a screen and go get that rebound. <laughs> That's what we need. Yep. Learned it from his dad, as Michael said. Chubbick's from Atkinson, Nebraska. He was a West Holt grad of 89 before his time at the Huskers. Ah, oh, that's my old stomping grounds there. And foul is called. Going against Newsom. Here's a look. I, I think that warrants a whistle. Newsom getting real physical, trying to get into a rope, establish position. That was a pretty obvious shove. Three Ooh. for Garcia. So quick, so quick triggered. Now the Thunderbirds on top by one.
Newsom out under the basket. Two minutes to go before halftime. That's a great point. I think he just kind of ran out of space. And Newsom. Boy, these two guys. Getting tied up again with a rope and a second consecutive foul. Yeah, Newsom in a rope right on the left side of your screen there. And I mean, Newsom, <laughs> I mean, just getting into him. <laughs> Newsom pleading his case. I think the officials are buying it. Well, that's his third. Well, and he's so important because when I mean, you can see he's a big bodied fella. And they need a big body to match up with Jacob Arope. Those three fouls though, Chubbuck Jr. is gonna sub him out. Protect him with a minute 47 left in this first half. Well, Prince is also going to take a seat. This is going to be a critical run. Feels like a critical run here for the Eagles. And a rope grabbing the board. And has it stolen away. But the pressure yep. forces the turnover. Pull a check. Kind of in the middle of this one. Got a strong beard game, doesn't he? Can't deny it. Got to respect it. Mm -hmm. and that's off the foot of Cassio Jensen. Here come the Eagles. Good D. Andrew Brown. Ackerman, count the basket, Garcia got him. <laughs> Chance for a three-point play. Robert Garcia is kind of looking up in the stands saying, you gotta be kidding me, you can't play better defense than that. Ackerman somehow getting that one to go with the hang time. Ackerman, a player that According to Coach Chubbuck, he's come on late this season, played a lot of JV this year. They were trying to get him the reps to bring him along. And the past month or so of this season, it's been playing off or paying off rather where he's been getting significant minutes. Now what he's currently a... playing Dion Garcia. Ah. Oh. Well, he got the help defense he was looking for from Wayne, but Wayne's going to pick up that late foul coming over. But you saw that footwork there from Garcia. Just a little short on that first attempt. Lewis back around. He got both <laughs> defenders to bite on that quick move. Hmm. Garcia, three year starter for this team knows what it takes to get to that final championship game as he gets the second to go one of three returning starters from last year's state championship team averaging 14 points per this season Count all three. That's Andrew Brown with the triple. And he just had a fantastic defensive play a moment ago. Excellent job moving the ball around, sucking that defense in, then finding the shooter with enough space to operate, knock down that triple. A rope. Seven seconds. Three is short from Jackson. And kick is called. 
Ackerman came down with another huge rebound. Boy, he's put in some significant minutes, as you mentioned, Brandon, working his way up from the JV ranks earlier this season. So one half's in the books. Central leads the defending champs by two. 30 to 28 year score here on News Channel Nebraska. Stay with us. Our halftime show is coming up next. In every community, there are unsung heroes. They're the ones who make a real difference every single day. News Channel Nebraska and Medica want to thank our community heroes. And now it's your chance to shine a spotlight on them. Nominate your local hero and let their story inspire us all. Winners get to donate $1,000 to a nonprofit of their choice, with over $5,000 donated to date. Together, we can celebrate those who make our communities brighter. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pick-up services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Champions are crowned each year in Lincoln. All of us at Visit Lincoln welcome the athletes, families, and fans from across Nebraska to our community. When the final whistle blows and the game ends, make sure to discover how Lincoln can make your stay even more memorable. Stop by the Visitor Center at 7th and P in the Haymarket or visit us on the web at lincoln.org. Visit Lincoln is a proud supporter of high school athletics. After a quarter century, the Doug Woodard era came to an end last season, and the head coach for Bellevue West went out on top, his team state champions. Current head coach Steve Klein found out in January last year that it would be the last season for Coach Woodard, and at that moment, he knew he wanted to take over as the next head coach. It's an opportunity he's been waiting for his entire career. He spent a dozen years as an assistant under Coach Woodard, learned many things. The top two that come to mind, one of them doesn't have to do with basketball. It's saying, remember why we're in this. It's for the kids, and it's about turning them into young men and helping them to become productive citizens. Oh, they're pretty good at basketball for productive citizens as well. Uh, as far as the basketball coaching side, he said the biggest thing he learned from watching Coach Woodard for 12 years was how to be an effective communicator. He says Woodard excelled at having one-on-one -on -one meetings with his players and did a great job laying out their role and communicating it to the players, getting them to buy in. Coach Klein said that was a weakness of his when he was a girls' head coach at Plattsman. A quarter century under Doug Woodard meant a lot of trips to the state tournament. Year number one for Steve Klein means the same thing. We'll have more halftime coverage next on NCN. At first, I was really nervous and intimidated to buy a ring. My experience at Starter Hamel was very easy. I felt like I walked out with the ring that was going to make her go wow and say yes. I love my ring. It is so beautiful. I get compliments on it all the time. I always tell them Starter Heyman. 
I love it. Yeah, we would definitely recommend Soccer Human. We're definitely, definitely coming back. back. <laughs> sure. We have a wedding band to buy. So. We do, yes, we have wedding bands. We'll be back for that. Sarter Heyman Jewelers, Downtown 12th and O, South Point Pavilions, and Grand Island. I've had the opportunity to work with so many outstanding students and parents in my 37 years as a public school teacher. The two things I've noticed they all have in common, a love for their community and a pride in their school. I've seen that pride in my science students who become scientists, in parents who show up for every game and every parent-teacher conference, in former students who become community leaders. Nebraska public schools are indeed the heart of our communities. Welcome back. Great first half. Central has the two point edge, 30 28 over Bellevue West. Brandon Aximit. Andy Klassen, Michael Shively with you. Let's take a look at our halftime highlights brought to you by Sarder Heyman Jewelers. Stung engagement collections, exceptional diamonds and dazzling gemstones can be found at their Lincoln and Grand Island locations. Getting things started off, three pointer hit from the corner by Prince. One of three triples hit in the first quarter for Bell West. Here he had a three by McMorris, but he then gets teed up for having a word with the Omaha Central bench. It's 13 all, and we head to the second with a Deleron Thomas bank three, just like you draw it up. 16-13 Central would take the lead heading to the second. We then continue the three-point shooting affair. This time it's Eldon Turner who has five points, knocking it down. And Sterling, he wants to get in on the action as well. DJ Sterling with seven in the first half, counting those three. And more Thomas here, fading away. That's basically an indefensible shot, Andy. It really is. Also shows you his athleticism. Speaking of athleticism, this big man can move. Jacob Arope, seven points for Bill West in the half. And you have Ackerman coming off the bench and making a three-point play. Fouled by Garcia. Gets to the line with the basket. He has four points as well. We're sitting at a 30-28 ball game. Yeah, how about Ackerman coming in, putting in some big minutes for Newsom, Kavon Newsom, who got in a little bit of foul trouble, you know, trying to get in the way of Jacob Arope. Big old Jacob Arope, they need a big body on him. Newsom is that big guy, the senior for Omaha Central. But credit, Ackerman coming in and doing a fine job. You saw it wrapping up the highlight package there. A little hang time for the big fella. Get one to go and one. So the scoring totals, Bill West first, it's Polacek with five, Turner with five. Jaden Jackson held scoreless up to this point. You have Garcia who has six, a rope with seven, and McMorris with five. You know, there's some players out there where you see that or you hear that, oh, they're held scoreless and you kind of worry about them. I'm not worried about J squared whatsoever. He had such an impact defensively causing turnovers. He had a couple really nice assists in that second quarter. So he's been an impactful player for Bellevue West throughout that first half. Look for him to get going though on the scoring end of things here in the second. As for Central, Sterling with seven, Thomas with seven, Holman with six, Prince with three, Ackerman four, and Brown with three. Pretty balanced attack by the Eagles. Really is a balanced attack, and I just like the balance uh, that they showcased there in that first half. How could you not? Deshaun Prince, only a sophomore, but he's so lengthy, so smart with the ball in his hands. You saw him open up the game with that corner three. He used that to set up a baseline drive and finish later. So he also has that high basketball IQ working for him as well, even though he's just a youngster, only a sophomore. We're three minutes minutes away from second half action in this Class A semifinal on News Channel Nebraska. We'll be back. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. John Henry's is now offering electrical service. Our service professionals have been helping with plumbing, heating, and cooling in Lincoln and the surrounding areas for more than 25 years. Now, we're proud to offer the same level of professionalism in our new electrical service. 
From a whole home rewire to adding new outlets or electric car chargers, John Henry's can be your one-stop shop for all your home's needs. John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electrical. Our family, serving yours since 1996. NCN Sports is brought to you by Zollner Ford and Lincoln. Meeting your sales, service, and parts needs. Five Points Bank. Trust the better bank for your financial needs. And by Family Physical Therapy. Getting you back in the game. Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre-owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse. Welcome back, about 90 seconds away from third quarter action. There's your score, and we'd, we'd like our viewers to know that we are on X, formerly known as Twitter. You're gonna wanna follow us at NCN Sports. Maybe this is the first time you've seen, heard, or understand what News Channel Nebraska is. Well, we're a statewide TV station that televises about 200 high school, college, and sporting events throughout the year. And if you follow us at NCN Sports, you will know which games we're covering each week. High school or college football, volleyball, high school or pro, basketball, soccer, baseball this <laughs> spring and summer. We have you covered. Follow us at NCN Sports. And with that, someone else who has you covered is Michael Shively. He has the latest after talking to both head coaches. Visiting with these coaches, they both saw issues with how their team played in the first half, but are going into the second half supremely confident. For head coach of Bellevue West, Steve Klein, he says that they need to quit turning it over. They can't keep giving up easy shots to Omaha Central. He said they need to rebound better. He thought his team was soft on the boards in half number one. He wants them to slow down, hunt better shots, and if they're able to do that, he likes their chances in the second half. For Bruce Chubbuck Jr. of Omaha Central, he says they need to finish better at the basket. He didn't like that his team had 11 first-half turnovers. If they can cut that number in half, in half number two, he says he likes their odds of getting a win. We'll see how it plays out. Guys? Thank you, Michael. Well, here we go. Adjustments to be made, and we'll see what happens in the final 16 minutes. Andy, you and I were talking during the commercial break, I think we're probably going to see things get kicked up a notch yeah. here in this last 16. It almost seemed like a feeling out in half. Right. And yeah. I think there's a lot more fireworks to come. Yeah, like in a boxing match where they just kind of spar the first four or five rounds. Then you wait for the highlights, the last two or three. I think that's what we're going to see here. Not surprising that both coaching staff talked about turnovers to their teams about the during the halftime break. That was one thing that I thought both teams could really look at, especially in the open court, just turn the ball over. You, you want to attack, don't get me wrong, and you're going to have some turnovers when you do that. But far too many times felt ball security was just not top of mind for both of these squads in the first half. Polacek misses the mark. Offensive board, he hits the second time. Yeah. Polacek stepping right into that one. Coming off that offensive rebound. Turner doing a fabulous job looking him up. I don't know how often you're going to see that. An air ball, and then about four seconds later, a three <laughs> knocked down by the same player who just shot the air ball. Hey. Confidence. Just, yep, just keep shooting again. And collision here, scramble on the floor. Bell West comes away with it. Jackson looking for his first points, doesn't drop for him. Another offensive uh -oh. rebound, and there's a two inside for Garcia. How about Turner ripping down his fifth board? He's not the biggest guy out there, <laughs> you know, but he's got two huge rebounds to start this second half. 
Quick 5-0 run by the Thunderbirds and Coach Chubbick wants to take a timeout to talk things over. Not a bad idea as Bellevue West. Yeah, that little 5-0 run gets that three-point lead. That's really, I think it's important for both these coaching staffs to diagnose that run, that momentum shift early and don't let the opposition go on a 10-0, 12-0 run. Call that timeout, break things up, draw something up, get into a half-court set. Almost two minutes in. Hey, hey. We, we know that guy. Oh, colleague of yours. Here he has a son will be playing. I heard that. Next yes. game. So. And I heard he might be going to, I don't know, a university or playing for a football team next year too. Just a couple of future Husker football <laughs> players playing basketball here at PBA on semifinal Friday. So that's uh -huh. a preview for Westside Miller North, which is coming up next. You got to love that, bringing that type of athleticism to your football team, to your roster. Strong board by a rope. Rips down his fifth of the game. Got up for that one. Excellent pass, Jackson, yep. a rope with the bucket. See, that's what I'm talking about. He's so impactful in so many different ways, leads the team in assists, and you see why. Drew a couple defenders out, then with that slick little bounce pass to, to the big fella for the finish. A rope called for the foul. It'll send Thomas to the line. Little oh, Bruce Chebek Jr. Eight points now for Thomas. Currently leading Central. <laughs> Student section having some fun there. Hawaiian theme. Well, that Bellevue West student section, they're always having fun, which we do a lot of winning over there at Bellevue. Certainly makes it easier. as we have a foul called on Central. 35-32, your score on the Aurora Cooperative scoreboard. Go green with E15 and Phillip at your nearest A stop today. That one off the mark from Cassio Jensen. Whoops. That one just getting away from Thomas, but it will stay here. Thomas so quick. Everything he does, he does with a certain level of quickness. Pass a little telegraph there. Robert Garcia thinking, get that out of here. Three from the top of the key. No Prince with the offensive board. Find Sterling. And that'll be a foul on Jackson. Yep. Thomas maneuvering his way through the defense. Drew the foul. Yeah, he's just one of those guards. He's he's tough to keep up with. A rope and Turner have checked in for Bill West as we near the halfway point of the third quarter. And you have the steal by Jackson, leading the fast break. And heavy off the glass. Coach Klein wanted a foul. Here come the Eagles. And that gets away from him. Ah, Prince was trying to find his buddy Sterling for another corner three. Put a little too much on it. Overpass. Like the idea, though.
Nice Ooh. jumper hit by Turner. Boy, he's doing everything for the Thunderbirds. Grabbing rebounds, dishing out assists. Ackerman, heavy on the jumper. Thunderbirds up by five, looking to add to it. There's oh. the first bucket, basket rather of the night for Jackson. It's a big one. Biggest lead of the night. Thunderbirds up by eight, timeout called. Forty thirty-two, Bellevue West. The defending So this yellow jacket, it basically symbolizes that it's showtime. The yellow jackets are a throwback to Monday Night Football. The 1970s, Keith Jackson, Howard Cassell. That was the big broadcast in the country. Now we're the big broadcast in Nebraska. When News Channel Nebraska is covering a game, we want you to know that we take it seriously. We want to dress sharp. We have pride in what we do. And we're going to wear those yellow jackets to show people. Now we're a little old school, but we're also the important broadcast for the night. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. Thunderbirds. Starting to find that rhythm. Central obviously needing to be careful here. You really don't like your chances getting down double no. digits at this point in the game to the defending champs. Thunderbirds just too good defensively. You gotta keep it close. Cassio Jensen taking away baseline. He had a heck of a defensive stand that last possession when he was going one-on-one -on -one with Thomas. Nearly stolen. We have a yeah. foul. Yep. yep. Away from the ball on Central. Wayne was clearing a path, backing down a, a defender, opening up that lane. That's a good call. Here's another look. Yeah, you can see it at the right side of your screen. <laughs> I think if you're an Eagle fan, you still want to see Holman finish that. Bell West, big possession here to make it a double digit affair. And there you just have Garcia lose it. This will be an interesting stretch of the game here, just under 2.30 left, but neither team has a true center or big man in the game right now. Going to some smaller lineups. Forward and guard heavy. Much needed basket for Central. It was Sterling back to a six point game. Sterling showcasing that quick first step once again. Bell West outscoring Central 12 to 4 here in the quarter. We're under two to play. <laughs> Big time block by Wayne. It looked like McMorris had the step, had the angle. Wayne says, I don't think so. Sends that one to your living room. Well, Prince comes back in for Central. Deep three. Doesn't drop for Turner. Eagles quickly get up the court now. Set things up. That was really good work by the Eagles underneath the hoop on the other end. Three, four rebounders not looking to give Bellevue West a second shot opportunity. 
Bellevue West left a rope all alone down there to try and fight <laughs> for that rebound. Just kind of got outmatched. That went off the mark from Thomas. Off balance shot. Somehow, oh, ho, ho. Dixon comes away with it. My, oh my. That will be making the highlight reel. Jackson, not only with the highlight reel finish, but going back to the basketball, helping his buddy out, because that was a not the best pass. Would have been intercepted easily, but Jackson made a play going back to get that, and then look at this. Whoop. Made it look a lot easier than that actually is, I assure you. Did that in front of the student section over there for Bellevue West. They were loving it. Back to an eight-point game. One minute to play in the third. And Holman is fouled. It's the third on Garcia. Third team foul this period for Bellevue West as well. Prince going against a rope. He wins that battle. So athletic. I mean, he had his shot altered in a big way. Still, somehow, got it to go through the cylinder. Little discrepancy here between shot clock and game clock. Doesn't matter, Polacek pulls it on the baseline. 10 points now for Polacek. Garcia rips it down and Bill West will be able to take the final shot here. Ends up in the hands of Polacek, just misses the three. A rope is there. And the defending champs will take a 10-point lead into the fourth quarter. One more look. The big man. The offensive board and put back. Right before the buzzer sounds. Bell West, 46, Central 36, here on News Channel Nebraska. John Henry's is now offering electrical service. Our service professionals have been helping with plumbing, heating, and cooling in Lincoln and the surrounding areas for more than 25 years. Now, we're proud to offer the same level of professionalism in our new electrical service. From a whole home rewire to adding new outlets or electric car chargers, John Henry's can be your one-stop shop for all your home's needs. John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electrical. Our family, serving yours since 1996. Always good <laughs> to get basketball you know, into the lives yes. of them young. The understanding of the game. Never too early. You know, you can never start them too young. <laughs> Their big sister. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Excellent atmosphere here in the first Class A semifinal of the night here on News Channel Nebraska, but the tide has officially turned. Central had a two-point lead going into the third quarter. Bell West outscores the Eagles 18-6 in the period to now have this 10-point lead. Yeah, and I thought you, oh, there we go. Nice find down low. Newsom flashing open. But you saw Bellevue West get real aggressive offensively. In that third period. Outpacing the Eagles. Polacek is fouled yeah. by Prince. Three shots coming up. Prince doesn't like and he's trying to get the official to look at our replay. That might not have been the best look at it, but he did catch that arm as he swung by.
Polacek now with 11 points, make it 12, right at his per game average. Yeah, just a solid contributor. Excellent defender. Seen him knock down a couple threes. Biggest lead of the night, it's now 11. And I, I don't think I'm worried about Omaha Central scoring. They'll always have a level, you know, an offensive presence. That's not gonna leave them, I don't believe. It's getting stops against this highly, highly efficient Thunderbird offense. Jackson wide open. Offensive board for the Thunderbirds. McMorris came down with it, gets it to Jackson. Another offensive rebound, there's yep. a foul. It'll be on Prince again. Definitely can't be doing that if you're central. Yeah, two offensive rebounds going the way of Bellevue West. I mean, you got the stop you're looking for twice. But you gotta finish the deal and get that rebound. Well, high school sports and state basketball on NCN is presented by Midwest Bank, where they lend a hand in the communities that they serve. You can go to MidwestBank.com to find out more, and also Allo, where you can have honest, hassle-free pricing. Visit AlloFiber.com. Bulacek, pass intercepted. Almost two minutes gone in the fourth quarter that's brought to you by Visit Lincoln. See and experience all that Lincoln has to <laughs> offer. Discover more at lincoln.org as that one goes. Sterling shifting gears, slowing things down and knocking down a nice little shot there at about the 15-foot line. That's going to be a foul on Thomas. Last basket by Sterling puts him in double digits with 11. That also pulls this back within a three possession game. You feel much better about that. You know, kind of hill to climb. If you're an Omaha Central fan, then you do 11 or 12 points. A rope inside, an easy yeah. two. So quick with his feet. Just catch, lay in, no wasted motion. Almost looks like a set play they work on in practice. A rope with 13. Then on the other end, Wayne gets the put back. Quick with the answer, the Eagles. And there's a steal by Brown. Jackson may have got a piece of that one. The three doesn't go another offensive board. Oh. Wayne is denied by a rope, but then fouled. That was a heck of a rebound by Wayne. He had to box out a rope battling down there. That was Jackson, but then going toe to toe with a rope. <laughs> but he stuck with it. Give the young man a lot of credit. Got himself to the foul line. <laughs> There's a youngster loving what he's seeing. It's a third foul on a rope. Bell West wants to take a timeout. Glad you're with us again. Game number five of the semifinal Friday here on News Channel Nebraska. We have one more to go after this one. Millard North and West Side. Take a note from that girl in the front row with a white jersey she had her phone out Andy she's yes. probably either following or is about to follow us on Twitter <laughs> at NCN Sports so that's what you want to do if you haven't and it's now X but at NCN Sports is the handle to follow 14,000 people do it and that's what will let you know which games we're covering on a week-to-week -week basis right. televising these things across the entire state 
as we do 200 games a year. We have the student section battle going on right now. A little back and forth here. Love it. <laughs> It's all a part of the fun here at the State Basketball Tournament at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Brandon Axumit, Andy yep. Klass, and Michael Shively with you. Hope you're enjoying the coverage here from Lincoln. Yeah, a couple of fantastic crowds here. Bellevue West has picked up our, you know, I've always enjoyed quite the fan base following over the years. Omaha Central as well. Yeah, they've kind of filled up the old bank here in Lincoln. High school sports on NCN and state basketball is presented by Currency. Does your business need help financing big ticket items? Currency is here to help. Find out more at gocurrency.com. Ah. Trap was on, but it yep. will stay with Bell West. Trimmer got himself in trouble there. Got trapped. Was able to get out of it. State basketball is also presented by Woodhouse Auto. Convenience delivered every time as well as Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. Find out more at libertyfirstcu.com. Under five to go here in the fourth quarter, a trip to the Class A state final on the line. A rope. Yep. So efficient inside. Well, just fantastic ball movement inside out across the court. And then that extra little pass at the end there. Really gave a rope that clear path. McMorris finding him at the end. He now has 15. The jumper comes up short for Thomas. And unfortunately for the Eagles, they haven't really been able to make any headway on this double digit lead. Bell West so good at holding him at bay. There's a steal. Up to Prince. There's two. There's that transition bucket the Eagles have been looking for. Chubbuck calling the troops up, saying, pressure the ball, pressure the ball. Under four to go. Bellevue West going to take its time. There's another. Nope. Uh, almost steal, but foul called. Foul on Thomas. Yeah, Coach Klein pacing up and down the sideline there. Head coach of Bellevue West, new head coach. Almost making a, a winding, wind that clock down motion with his hand. You're going to get a full 35 here. And was down to nine before the foul. Now it's back. Reset. And this isn't an, an easy task, you know, playing keep away against a defense like Central. Maxson finds Polacek. They pull it back out. <laughs> Still able to get down the lane. Oh. Seven on the shot clock. And Jackson heavy off the glass. And then there's a foul. I believe it's going to be on Mick Morris. There was some good sportsmanship being shown there by an Omaha Central Eagle. Wayne helping up Jackson after that, after the two battled at the rim. And that's a tough one for Central, an unforced turnover. Ah. I don't want to say, I guess, shouldn't say unforced, but right. turnover nonetheless. Yeah, that's a tough one. Your po offensive possessions are limited right now.
Can you imagine Bill West will try to take the clock down? And as I say that, that's just as good. McMorris puts hey, two up. I was gonna say, McMorris had a clear path there. He's real comfortable with that little sky hook. Got a four foot floater. Well, two shots coming up now for Sterling. Uh, Sterling returns the favor, getting into McMorris, very next possession. Okay, pulls it with a nine. 12 points for Sterling. Now 13. And full timeout called by Chubbuck Jr. With 2.22 to go. We'll take a break as well. Bell West 55, Omaha Central 47. You're watching State Basketball on News Channel Nebraska. NCN Sports is brought to you by Zollner Ford and Lincoln. Meeting your sales, service, and parts needs. Five Points Bank. Trust a better bank for your financial needs. And by Family Physical Therapy. Getting you back in the game. Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre-owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse. Two twenty-two remaining in this Class C1 semifinal between Bellevue West and Omaha Central. Brandon Axman, Andy Klassen, and Michael Shively with you. And it's an eight-point advantage for the defending champs. Well, like we said at the top of the fourth quarter, Central's going to have to put a hurry up on their offense, you know, scoring some bunches here. But most importantly, they got to get some stops. Almost got a turnover. Out of play off lane. Strong take by Garcia, gets oh. the offensive board, <laughs> and a second before it goes in. He's kind of padding his stats down there. Got a young Dennis Rodman going to work. 10 points with that make. Let's look at it again. There's one rebound, two rebounds, three rebounds, two points. <laughs> Well, Bell West is applying some full court pressure. And Prince unable to handle it. That'll be Bellevue West basketball on the turnover. And these possessions just get more and more critical that Central's kind of, you know, giving away. Uh-oh. A rope, <laughs> unable to do it, but there is his buddy Garcia to clean things up. Ah, he knew Robert Garcia was close by, probably get that offensive rebound. Three off the mark. Central, you're gonna need some of these to fall and fall quickly. There's another rebound for a rope. And the Eagles are in trouble. Just kind of vintage Bellevue West as we look at first year head coach Steve Klein. Just able to build that lead, take that lead back early in the third period, coming out of the halftime break. And then just really not allow Omaha Central to cut into it. Uh oh, here we go. 
Nice patience shown by Sterling. Central taking a timeout. Bell U.S. student section, not a, I don't know if they appreciate that timeout with 50 seconds left. It's not over till it's over. That's what Coach Chubbuck Jr. is telling his Eagles in the huddle right now. You know, and whether it's Lincoln, Bellevue, Omaha, it's tough to, you know, make that student section happy. So, <laughs> not surprised the Omaha Central coaching staff getting to the student section over there a little bit. Well, the student section, unless things change dramatically, will have something to be happy about in yeah. those 50 seconds. It very well, maybe a fifth <laughs> consecutive trip to the state championship game for Bell West. What a run. What a run for Bellevue West. There's the quick foul. And you got to feel like WS got a big enough lead here. And I don't know if the, the foul game is really going to help you much. Well, it was the third quarter as Jackson hits the first that was the difference. Central had the two-point lead at halftime. Bill West outscores the Eagles 18-6 in the third to have a 10-point advantage entering the fourth, and it's basically stayed around that 8-10 to 10 point yep. mark this whole fourth quarter. Yeah, Bellevue West was more than happy to just trade buckets throughout this fourth with Omaha Central. Central would try and go on a run, cut it with an eight, cut it with a nine, and then Bellevue West would come roaring back. Three for Prince. Really like what I've seen from Prince here tonight. Another triple. Only a sophomore. A rope going up, going down <laughs> two shots. And again, we talked about how good of a game he's had. Basketball is not his first sport. He's going, as you see there, and can get up to play football at the next level. South Dakota. You know, he kind of looks like a football player. <laughs> but he's just so quick and nimble on his feet. Saw Thomas gather a round of applause. He checks out of the game. What a fine game, but an even better season for the Eagles. There he is. Senior, one of the leaders of this Omaha Central team. He spoke with Bruce Chebek Jr., you know, head coach, and he couldn't say enough, you know, <laughs> glowing, nice things about him. And he doesn't always give everybody praise, <laughs> you know. Said in year two, really sort of wanted to bring that culture from Omaha South to Central and sort of yeah. reset with this program. Post Eric Barron's and everything he did in those 2010, yeah. 12-ish area. Yep. Not to say that it was wrong, but it's just a different style and he's been a big part of that as a senior. Yep. As we have a foul. <laughs> a rope committing the foul so he can check out. <laughs> Getting his buddy Caprice Keith a shot. There's a rebound and a basket. Nice take. It's Kevin McGee who gets the consolation bucket. Good to see a senior go out with a play. That's the final whistle. 62-54. Bell West heading back to the state championship game for the fifth consecutive year. Will it be round five with Millard North? We'll find out after the next game. But for this one, stay with us. Our post-game show comes up next here on News Channel Nebraska. So this yellow jacket, it basically 
symbolizes that it's showtime. The yellow jackets are a throwback to Monday Night Football. The 1970s Keith Jackson, Howard Cassell. That was the big broadcast in the country. Now we're the big broadcast in Nebraska. When News Channel Nebraska is covering a game, we want you to know that we take it seriously. We want to dress sharp. We have pride in what we do. And we're going to wear those yellow jackets to show people that we're a little old school, but we're also the important broadcast for the night. The way we use electricity has changed a lot over the years. What hasn't changed is our commitment to make sure it's there the moment you need it. Nebraska Public Power District, always there when you need us. I think if you're somebody who's starting a business or you're a farmer or you just want somewhere to trust with your finances, you should choose Meadows Bank because we work very hard to understand your situation and be a part of every step that you're going through. We truly care what's happening in our communities. We want to be out there, be a part of what's going on, and you'll feel the heart that we have for our communities. You'll feel the belief we have in our customers, and you'll really understand that that's the Midwest Bank way. Atlas Fiber Internet has definitely increased the productivity of our office. It's one of those things with internet and being a marketing company, we have to have it on and running all the time. And it's always up. We don't run into legs, we don't run into latency issues. It doesn't vary throughout the day, it doesn't vary on you know weekends or busy time periods. They have local service here. You need to go talk to somebody. They're just a quarter of a mile away for us to be able to chat with somebody. And that is a huge peace of mind for me as a business owner. So I would not hesitate at all to recommend Allo to anybody. Bellevue West head coach Steve Klein with me. Coach, you're heading to the state championship game. It's the fifth year in a row for Bellevue West, but your first time as head coach. How's that feel? It uh, feels pretty good. You know, we, we, you know, these kids have done a lot throughout this season. And, uh, you know, they played some, they played a brutal schedule and it prepared them for situations like this. You know, we were down in the end of the first half and we weren't playing great. And, and uh, you know, we had some guys really step up in the second half to, find a way to get a win, which was huge. Well, you're down two at half. You scored the first seven points in the third quarter. What was the difference to taking that second half lead? Oh, we were just more active. Our our guys who are players decided to play a little bit more and, and quit. I don't know what we were doing in turn, I was worrying about stuff or what, but they just started playing. You know, Eldon Turner had a huge turnaround to start the third quarter, which was huge. Um, and then Steven finally got a couple shots to go and Jaden got a couple shots to go and you could kind of feel the momentum go a little bit. Um, and we haven't had that happen yet down here, which was nice to kind of feel that for once down here. So it was a, it was a big one. Well, Jaden had a good game, but he didn't have a vintage Jaden Jackson game, but the team still won. What's that say about this group? Well, it's, you know, there's a lot of guys who can do things on this team, you know, and and, and when when one guy's down, you got to pick another guy up. And, you know, Jaden Jackson can't do everything for us all the time. He's He has, he has bailed us out or, or done really well for us most of the season. And so now it was these guys' turn to help him out a little bit. And, and everybody's going to take him away. Everybody knows he's our best player. And, 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 you know, these other guys, you know, Isaiah McMorris comes off the bench, has a huge night, and, and guards. And, and we did such a good job on Dale Ron. Dale Ron's such a good player. And, and that was one of our major points of emphasis, and he did a fantastic job with it. How much fun is it to coach Jacob Arope? A lot of fun. His personality is just awesome. He's so, he's, <laughs> he's got a, such a great personality. He's so fun. He's, he's got energy and he's smile and all that. It's just great to have him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss him after this year. What's it gonna take to get a championship? Well, we gotta come out and play Bellevue West basketball and guard 
and, and, and get the good game going and hit some shots and, and just relax and play together. And we'll you know, you see what happens tomorrow. Well, thanks, Coach, and congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Our player of the game, Jacob Orobe, steps in. You get a high five from Coach. You got to celebrate with the guys oh, out yeah. there. What's this moment like your senior year heading to the state championship game? Uh, just just one more game with my the people I've played with since third grade, since we were young. So getting that one more chance to play, go out and play with them in the state championship is unbelievable. You guys were a different team in the second half. What was communicated at the break that changed the way that your group played? Just playing Bellevue West basketball. You know, first half it was kind of sluggish, you know, very stagnant on offense, and then uh, just rebounding. Uh, coach got into us in that during the halftime. Then I, I told our teams, come on, let's go. You know, we're better than that. Just play our game, and we do. So. Well, I know you're a football guy first, but it's fun to watch you on the basketball Thank court. You. Is it fun for you out there? Oh, yeah, for sure. See, I'm, I'm basketball at heart, but, you know, football, football size-wise, I guess. So it is what it is, you know. Miller North is warming up. Yep. You want you want another chance at them? Oh, of course. You know, in the season, they got us. Um, it was rough, but I feel like from that point on during practice, we just kept pushing each other and pushing each other every day, so we all got better. Five percent better was the motto this year, so I believe we've done that every day at practice in games, pushing each other. Well, congrats on a season high. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. That's Bellevue West. They're going back to the state championship game. We're going back to Brandon and Andy. Thank you, Michael. We're 15 minutes out from Miller North West Side. Let's jump into our top plays brought to you by Currency. Does your business need financing for equipment, trucks, or trailers? All you need is Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for more details. Class A semifinal number one. The defending champs, Bell West, hosting number five seed, Omaha Central. The Thunderbirds trying to make it to the state championship game for the fifth year in a row. Teams trading blows early on. Three knocked down by Prince from the corner. He finished in a double digits. Future Husker football player Isaiah McMorris saying, I can shoot threes as well. Unfortunately for him, he got teed up. But it was sort of a sign of things to come and how things were going back and forth. There's another three. Bank was open for Dalaron Thomas to round out the first. 16-13 Central as we head to the second. Three knocked down in transition for the Bell West Thunderbirds. Thomas comes back down on the other end with the fadeaway. He had nine in the game. Back and forth we go. The big man has footwork skills, and that's Jacob Arope. He had 16 on the day. Ackerman with a basket as well right here. Basket and the foul for the young man. Going back and forth, but Central holding off the defending champs, leading by two at halftime. Bell West would go on a run in the third. Steven Polacek from downtown. He had 13 on the night, and ridiculous skills by Jaden Jackson, the future South Dakota State basketball product. He had seven on the night, but was an impact player all over the court. Then there's a rope battling for the offensive board and the putback. Bell West. Big third quarter, which was the difference. They outscored Central 18 to six in the period to take a 10 point lead into the fourth. And things pretty much stayed the same in the fourth quarter. Central tried to make a run every time they'd get a basket. Central would come back down and cancel it out. There's a rope who had a game high 16. Season high for him 16 in fact, with his performance. He was dominant inside Bellevue West ends up getting the win and is advancing to the state championship for the fifth year in a row. Your final score. Bellevue West by 10. Here is a look at the bracket. Bellevue West heading to familiar territory tomorrow. Will it be round five between Miller North and Bellevue West? That's been the matchup the past four years in the Class A final. These two are going to play in about 10 minutes to see if that's the case. Miller North West Side coming up next as we look at that bracket brought to you by Currency. We are 12 minutes out. We're going to go to break. Come back with our pregame for Miller North West Side here on News Channel Nebraska.
Salas weaving in, weaving out, and oh. skying for... Hey, sports fans, looking for a convenient pit stop before or after the game? Look no further than Good To Go Convenience Stores. We're here to keep you going. Fuel up your tank with a refreshing drink and grab one more snack for the road. Good to go. Your winning play for game day. And hey, I could dunk it too. Good to go convenience stores. Fuel up for the game locations in Lincoln, York, Geneva, Bruning, and Hebron. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally the funniest thing ever. And then I said. <laughs> it wasn't, but this guy could use a win. Uh,